welcome back to the Guild of Dungeoneering. Wife Taffy's leaving the room right now. She's saying goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Wife Taffy. All right, she's gone. Welcome back to Dungeoneering, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me again. Let's go check out what we've got. What do we got here? Big booty. The crew is restless. Here we go, drunken sailor. Now is your moment. I, I believed in you recently. But this is a what have you done for me game. Now oh, where is it? That's a new voice. Oh man. I always feel weird doing the uh doing the female voices. Yeah. And I think that's because I suck at them. <laughs> that's the only reason actually. Trying to get better though. What better way than by being bad? Sucking at something is the first step toward being kind of good at something. Lessons learned from good sources. That's Adventure Time, actually. That's where I got that. Alright, well... Actually, you know what? I probably wanted to let that through and have rum activate right there, but I also get to kill my way of reckless swings. So that's fine by me. We got options, man! And I like that with the Drunken Sailor. It does give me choices about how to proceed. The bandana has been nice to me, too. Tell you what, I'm gonna go with that again. Armor and Swift. Weirdly, a very effective combo for this class. Collect one large chest. We gotta get to the map before we can even hope to acquire that. So let's go up this way. Fight another one-headed monkey. I think I gotta go one more level one before we start going pretty ham here. Plunder again. Alright. Just deal the damage. Pretty much against these guys, it reminds me, weirdly enough, of the, uh, the Spelunky Monkeys. Where just, the, the less time you spend dealing with them, the more likely it is that they don't completely fuck up your day. <laughs> much like it appears to be trying to do right now. But this is gonna net me the kill, actually. Oddly enough, that was nearly the perfect card. So thank you, game. Seems to be doing me some more favors lately. I'm totally happy with that. Armor 2 and Crush 1 with a stupidity, or we could get plus 1 health and a Fire Blast. I was tempted to grab the grenade, but obviously we wouldn't be able to hold, or, uh, be able to hold onto it if... ...that was gonna be my second choice, so... ...kinda glad that worked out the way it did, too. Things are looking up, man! Basically is what I'm trying to say. Things are feeling nice, and these corridors are exquisite as well. Can't say no to that. Given how convoluted this entire map is, too. Alright, I think I definitely need to find something now, though, so let's just... Oh my god, but look at this. Get the exact corridors we need to get up that area. There's no way I can say no to that. It's so beautiful. This is the most pleasant and problem-free start to any video I've ever had. <laughs> it's so nice! Alright, Sea Monkey. Unfortunately, you are on the, uh, the wrong side of a really positive streak here. And it is not about to end at your hands. In fact, falling over and landing on a reckless swing is gonna be how you end up going down. Oh, that's right, he's gonna get his plunder, though. This silly little bugger. There we go, the fire blast to finish it off. We knew Fire One was gonna come in handy that entire time. We were just waiting for the moment. Arcane Two again, or the spiky hat. Do I wanna go Blade this time, maybe? It is fire too as well. Yeah, I know I'm gonna go Shivering Cloak here. We're not looking like we're too well set up, honestly. Rosalita will be so mad. <laughs> it's, just, it's so bad, isn't it? <laughs> it's so bad. Oh well. I don't think I can fight a ship's cook right now. I think I gotta go with one more sea monkey. Gotta prep with a couple more sea monkeys before I go fight a human. Said the clearly psychotic man. Here we'll go for that. Kind of okay with him stealing a reckless swing if he grabs it. Yeah, that might actually play to my benefit here. A ransack is gonna steal another one. I think we'll prevent that. Thank you kindly. Mind Strike is very nice here. Unfortunately, it does not work out there. This is kind of a tough fight. I keep having to, uh... Realign myself against these monkeys. Which would make you think the three headed monkey fight was going to be a lot more difficult, but weirdly enough, didn't have much trouble at all with that one. Okay, cooking pot. Oh, that gets us to fire three. I lose those two, but you know what? I think I like the way I'm going with this one, so we'll go with cooking pot. Changing it up a little bit here. 
We get a couple of buccaneers coming my way too, which is fine by me. All right, drop that there. Get a massive gem in my area and uh, keep on trucking, I guess. The pirate and the buccaneer should set me up well with a couple of level three items going into that treasure map. Okay, fine. Start there. There's a lot of ways you can take the drunken sailor now that I'm thinking about it. Quite a few different things actually work with this character class, so long as you can get the health you need. Usually about all it takes. The fire blast is going to finish the job here. Oh, right, the rum. Oh, I should have accounted for that. That was silly of me. Oh, well, this will kill him. Luckily, ended up with the yoink, which is obviously not their ideal play. Oh my god, the firestorm. I gotta take that, right? Of course. Level four, baby. This is looking really good. Again. A surprisingly versatile showing from the uh, drunken sailor. I don't think I really need anything else. I think I'm pretty well set. Probably gonna risk it against a couple more level threes, but... I'll probably be pretty happy with just sticking what we got now. Stick with what you got. Fine with the discard here, too. Get rid of that clumsy left jab. We didn't need that anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> I keep forgetting, though. Oh, just the amount of ridiculous attacks these things can pull out. Oh, there's a lunge. Oh god, what am I doing? What am I doing? That triggered rum at least. And now. I lost. I think that fall over might have killed me. Oh my god, that's so bad! Oh, it was so good off the start too. No. the earth and laid the stone. I deserve this. A martyr's grave to recompense. I deserve this one. But others would have had more. No, not the end of it though. I <laughs> only give him a little bit. While I remain in control of my own shaming, I'm gonna go ahead and just make it a little easier on myself. Let's go a different route this time anyway, not gonna go straight up and, uh... Maybe see if I can't avoid a little bit more of that struggle. How about we go with the Mysterious Fountain, maybe, too? Worth checking out, at least. Okay, we can ignore that completely. Alright, Alvaro! We made some mistakes in the past, but this is, uh... This is a different time here. Nothing I can do about that thievery, either. These freaking monkeys. So long as I've got damage to deal, though. It does the job. Alright, I'm going back to fire. I want that ignite. I think I'm gonna try to rely on that pretty heavily here. Oh my, this is bad. What do I fight here? I guess I just double back? Doesn't do too much damage, I suppose. Need a better selection of corridors coming up, although if I go through the middle, I am welcoming every single one of the guys along the way, so that's... That's something I might want to keep in mind, too. Ooh, and if I can fight Merman... Mundane being affected, he does have Wave to kind of counter that. Hmm, 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 hmm. So many different ways to approach this. If I can draw a bunch of them, though, I would love to be able to utilize my fire most effectively. Retribution is kind of nice. I actually like this quite a bit. Retribution could be a big difference maker because there's quite a few. Although that might do. Oh, is that just magic damage? Hold on, what did that say? What does that say? Damn it! Oh, I need to know. I'll, I'll know by the next fight. Sea monkey corridor. Still not going to go through here. You know what? I think we need a. Yeah, we need a very specific corridor to go that way. Also, I can't apparently coerce him into going and fighting the obvious choice, so I guess we'll head straight up. So, Retribution. It's only, okay, or uh, what I should say, it is if I take three plus damage on a turn. doesn't matter what kind of source it is, so that's good for me. Hopefully he doesn't take my Mind Strike. Ah, I needed that. Damn it, he's gonna make me discard here too. Okay, so I obviously just want to try to stack up damage so I can actually do something to him. There we go. That was convenient. Getting decent draws against the monkeys, which is obviously quite nice. Okay, Cultist Hood is uh, fire two again. Growth one there. Yeah, we'll take that. I think I, I think I want to go magic heavy this time around. 
Okay, there's the corridor we need, actually, to get over here, so this works out. And then we can use this one to connect this way, and then we've got massive gems. This looks okay. And then we'll have one or the other coming down here to meet me up in the... the remainder of this hallway. Okay. Squinty eye to start. Okay, okay. Changing it up a little bit. Just kind of throwing out attacks as willy nilly as I am able. Only need two damage. Oh, he got rid of the flame lash, though, you monster. No worries. There it is. A little better off now. Corset is no good. Melkoif, no thank you. Crossbow for the swift, too. Might as well. We have got quite the arrangement of stuff now. I'll be honest, I, I do not feel that good about it. Alright, this corridor would have been nice to have through here, but that's fine. Let's just go, uh... Let's just go like that and probably call it good. Would love to drop another merman down, actually. That would be really helpful for me. I don't know how... well off I am for this fight, actually. This... This could be a difficult one. Retribution is going to take effect, I think, a few times. Shift is not bad at all. That's two damage for three. It's actually three for three, so that worked out quite nicely. Oh my god! Okay! <laughs> this is five damage coming in. I'm gonna deal one from Retribution. He's taking one himself, so Smite gets me the kill. That is such a close call, but I'm so glad I thought about it. And I was right. <laughs> I actually managed to account for everything relevant to the move. And somehow I am up to holy four again. So that's apparently the route I'm taking with this deck this time. We are also wise. Right, Divine Shield is a pretty good card to have. Let's see. Let's go with the shift to start. Retribution will take effect again. Lunge. Hmm. Do I stack physical here? It's not a bad play. Only two, not too bad. And a strike as well. If I hit with smite, then the interrupt kills next turn. Could probably go ahead and do that. He does have rum, I gotta remember that. Okay, this is gonna get the win. And it will happen first. Just to add insult to death. Growth two. Plus two health, takes away Holy. I lose my Swift in favor of Blade. Mmm, you know what, I like the quick attacks more. Simply because we can stack two additional physical damage with this character class. So it's slightly better. Obviously want to get going this way, and uh, I'll fight a Werecrab. I think I need to realign a couple of things here. We still got quite the drastic spread of skills with this with this item set. Alright, unfortunately Smite is my best play here. I think I'll keep Holy with if I can. There's not a lot I'd rather have. Although Holy is I don't know, I, I'm trying to defend Holy, but at the same time, not really sure it's the greatest option. Strike, my goodness, this guy does not have very powerful attacks. What's his game? How do you- how do you win, ever? <laughs> how does this work? What are you? He's got a weird were-crab wizard. Alright, this is five, he's gonna block two. I think I just fall over, or you know, I have blinding light, that works pretty well too. While I've got it, I might as well use it. Uh, quick attack for three damage, this is gonna get the kill now. That's what I've been waiting for. Glorious! Alvaro is doing nicely. Uh, lose Retribution with that. Fire an Arcane 2 at the, lo the cost of Swift 2. I think I like that. All of a sudden, we're looking a lot better now, too. Got the Holy 4, Arcane 2. We still got an Armor 1, which is a card I like having. If we can get up another level in Fire, though, I'll feel a lot better. Alright, now we finally get the Corridor con connecting that, which means... Probably just gonna go ahead and let that Buccaneer meet up with me, and then I think that's gonna be about the extent of what I do here, unless I find another Merman that I can fight. Three-headed monkey is... Oh, three-headed monkey's actually mundane. Yeah, let's try that. I think we'll fare well against this. 
Then we'll have the Buccaneer next turn, then we'll go for the map. See how well this goes. Okay, the bite is no problem. Let's go Mind Strike, get some early bonus damage, plus the card draw. Another bite, alright. Hang on to the Divine Shield for next turn. Or maybe turns following, who knows? Could be wild! Ooh, charge, uh... Squinty Eye? He's already in Fury mode, so he's dealing three damage here. Could, uh, I don't know, yeah, I think we'll do this and then allow Retribution to deal a little bit more damage, although he's got Bulwark, I gotta remember that. I'm actually kind of in danger here. How about Blinding Light, gain some health? Bulwark actually is gonna stop him from losing health on that attack. Uh, Fury gives him four damage here. If I repel, I'm still not really giving myself that big of a... Ooh, I don't know. I think I'm just saving up until I get my Reckless Swing, because that is gonna kill him so long as he doesn't block anything. Yeah, there we go. Except he's dealing four damage here. I still live. It's so close, I wanna make sure I'm not forgetting anything. If I use Clumsy Left Jab, he's not gonna die. What if I did Divine Shield? Man, I think I might have been able to do that a long time ago, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna work. There we go. There we go, there it is. It was really close, but we managed to get out of there. In one piece. Arcane Four? Oh God, I want that badly. Yes, I think I'm taking it. I think I am. We keep Holy Two by doing that. I just love Arcane Four so much. So much I do. I want to take it behind the middle school and quote 30 Rock. That's probably where I should stop that for fear of people not getting the reference because out of context, it's a little weird. That's a fine start. That's why we keep armor one. Uh, that would have been good to have again. Damn it. Three for three, sure. And an extra one for good luck. Only four more damage needed, and, uh, ooh, we actually are closing in on it, too. Uh, actually, Retribution's gonna get the kill with- oh my god. So many factors involved with this, look at that! Look at that madness! Okay, Padded Vest, I just lose something by taking that. Gain two health, but I lose Retribution. This might be worth that! No, Retribution has made a big difference in the recent fight, so let's just take some gold. Alright, do not need to fight anything. Let's just go like this. See where the map points. We'll see where she lies. Finally got to this thing. That was a trek in and of itself. Dead center, alright. Probably should have expected that. Let's go bam and uh, wholeheartedly expect that pirate to make his way over to me. Probably just gonna meet it right up with me and hopefully I get the corridors I need. That might do it. I like having this room right there, but, uh, sadly, we need a straight-on access point, don't we? I could come down through this way, but I still can't lay these corridors down here. Shoot! Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's not really anything I can do here. That sucks. Let's see what that is. Oh, it's Fountain of Power, okay. Well, let's see what, uh, the next turn brings, I guess. I shouldn't have a, any trouble with this pirate. I just really was hoping to avoid having to fight anything else. I really just want to live through this one. That's a nice start. That's a very, very nice start for us. Deals two damage, gain two cards, lose no health. Uh, I can block that. Preventing the discard doesn't really matter too much, but I like the start anyway. Uh, now let's just hit with basically everything. We'll focus up first. And now we've got the Arcane Barrage. Bam, bam, bam! One more damage needed, we might get it next turn. Eh, we'll go Smite Flame Lash. Usually not what I expect from this guy, but if it works, don't fucking fix it. Doesn't matter. Let's just take some gold. Give me the corridors. Come on. There it is. Yes. Beautiful. Gems for days. That's all I need. I'm so ready to collect this. Collect my spoils and be on my merry way, please. That's all I want. Yes! Oh, God, I should have figured you'd be there. All right, one more Buccaneer. Tell me we can do this. Tell me we can win. I think we can. I think we got this. Oh, a mall to start off with. Well, sure. Don't mind if I does. Lunge into Reckless Swing, okay. 
think we've more or less got this. Down to Fury mode, but we should be able to get the kills here. Uh, strike is not what I wanted to see, actually. Let's just do that, and we've got Flame Lash next turn. Pretty sure we got it. Yep. Excellent. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was gonna be really salty if I somehow lost in that Buccaneer at the end. But we did it. Hooray! I'm not sure if you understand. This used to be a peaceful land. I've heard that. Since your guild come along, everything has gone wrong. And I dread to know now what you've planned. Oh, well, part of my plan involves getting this artificer soon. That's what I'm most excited about. Thanks for watching this episode of Dungeoneering, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Appreciate that a lot. I'll see you next time.